Hey guys, Chris at Survival Dispatch. We're going to do a quick little video we want you guys to watch again. Uh, Alan Kay's Canteen Survival Kit. This thing's really cool because it's so condensed, compact, but has everything you need in one little package. Um, that Moab, I think it was called, if I'm correct. But you'll see in the video, it really is an epic compact kit. So check this out. Alan Keg with Survival Dispatch. Uh, I want to talk to you about uh, a kit that I've had and used for about three years now. I've carried this thing literally around the world in a lot of different situations. It's made by Heavy Cover. Uh, it's actually a titanium canteen, pretty much your, your basic uh, military pattern. And I have the, uh, the titanium cap dummy corded on so that I don't lose that guy. This, uh, the carrier with this, of course you could use pretty much any canteen. The old GI aluminum or stainless canteens would work for this. One of the most important things out in the field is a metal container. The ability to cook and to boil water and things like that. So this does have a nesting canteen cup that goes with it and gives me the ability to purify water in both of these vessels, which I really like. I also like the lightweight. Now some people will look at it and say, oh, it's expensive and titanium is typically uh, expensive when we go to buy it. But I look at it like cry once, buy once kind of thing. And it's, it's served me well. But you could use anything. Now Gene makes a canteen for like 10 bucks. You could make that your kit, but you wouldn't be able to boil in it. So that's kind of the trade-off. It also has a lid that nestles into a pouch inside of here, which is good because that will uh, make your boiling time happen faster. Plus it keeps all the ashes and stuff out of your slug gravy or whatever it is that you happen to be cooking. And the pockets around this, I've put in some really small lightweight things, but they can be a, a game changer. You know, our basic human requirements are water, shelter, fire, and food. And so with that in mind, I chose these items. This is a uh, SOL Mylar blanket. It's not like the cheap Chinese ones that are really crinkly and uh, shiny like a baked potato. This one is OD green on one side and reflective on the reverse side. So if uh, you wanted to be seen, you could, or if you wanted to maintain a lower signature, it affords you that ability. And these are quite larger, uh, almost double uh, the standard blankets that we see out there. So if you have someone with you, this will actually encapsulate two adults. I really like that. A quick, easy shelter. You know, we talk about building shelter and emergencies for survival, but anybody that's ever really done that knows two things. One, it's really hard to make them waterproof. They do have a tendency to leak, you know, especially hastily built. It also takes a lot of time. So if I'm on the move, I don't want to have to stop and spend four to six hours of intense physical labor and burn calories just to get a shelter. So something like this makes a lot of sense. And if I'm on the move, I've got to leave that shelter. So all that work, I'm going to leave behind and go to the next location. So a shelter sheet really makes a lot of sense. Solar ignition. This is a Fresnel lens from Five Star Gear. It's larger than a lot of the Fresnel lenses that we see out there. Um, if the sun's shining, why not utilize that as an ignition method? Because you're saving your resources, your fuel in your lighter, the mass of your ferro rod, magnesium, whatever you happen to be using. And then you don't have to do the friction fire and the other methods. So it saves time, saves calories, and makes a lot of sense. And in addition, it is a magnifying glass. So if you have to deal with seed ticks or getting splinters out, or if you just can't see good, my eyes are starting to change. I'm 43 now, so my arms are not long enough. And I find that visual aid comes in handy. Also, a wire saw to facilitate the construction of shelters or other things where I may want to take saplings. Uh, that's also a five-star gear item with the barrel swivels on it. A snare wire for food procurement, and I just wrapped a little orange duct tape on that so that I can see it in low light or if I drop it. And I also have some tarred bank line, also marked brightly colored duct tape that I can use in conjunction with the shelter sheet to create different formations of shelter or even a trapping capacity. I could use that. I also have a Swinto button compass as a navigation aid should my primary compass be lost or not with me at the moment. And this is some artificial sinew, really, really strong, lots of uses. I could double it, triple it, quadruple it, make a bowstring. Uh, I can split it down really, really fine like dental floss and it still has tons of strength to use for trip wires and traps and things of that nature. 
So that's handy to have. And also for food procurement and fire inside of this pill bottle, I have a complete fishing kit, a ferro rod along with a razor blade, a needle, 65 pound test line, fish hook sinkers, and some tinder. So this also for fire and food procurement. Then on the side here, I have a signal whistle, which no kit should be without. And here's a water bag that goes in conjunction with the Sawyer water filter that is kept in this other pocket around which I have put some of the T-Rex duct tape. And I thought Gorilla Tape was awesome, but this stuff is, is probably double the thickness and strength of the Gorilla Tape. It's really good stuff. Can be used as a fire extender, can be used to close wounds with, tons and tons of uses for duct tape. And so since I have that dead space on the filter, why not go ahead and utilize that? And this can be used to drink from the source of water, or I could put it on the bag and fill the canteen with it. So I've got a way to boil water, I have a way to filter water. And in my pocket, I always have in my wallet kit tablets so that I can chemically treat water. So I have three approaches to satisfy my water needs. And that pretty much concludes it. But all of our, uh, all of our essentials for life are here. We have water, we have shelter, we have fire, we have food procurement, and we have navigation. So just with that small amount of kit, and, and I think it's really important to keep it small because one common mistake is to have this tendency we get a bag and because there's more room in the bag, we just keep filling it with more stuff. But this can be worn anywhere and it, it's really not cumbersome, doesn't stick out and it, you can hydrate with it. And all of a sudden you realize, hey, we're, we didn't plan to, but we're spending the night out here. This gives you the ability to be a lot more comfortable in the field. So again, it's made by heavy cover. And a lot of these items you can find pretty much anywhere. Uh, thanks for watching. If you have any comments, leave them below.